My name is Lucinda Hatchett. And this is Trinity Grace Hatchett. This is a car accident with her aunt, and I just wanted to make sure that everything, even things you couldn't see with a visible eye, were okay and in place. They're dri they were driving, Sharon was driving straight, and somebody from a parking lot drove right out in front of them and caused them to T-bone. They actually had two impacts because they bounced back and that car continued to come at them and hit them again. Okay, so there's an obliquity here, a strong obliquity. So, Mom, I'm going to show you what I'm... You see the angle of the cranium here? Mm -hmm. See that? And if I put my hand on this side of the can, can you look right straight? So if I put my hand here and then I put my finger here, the difference is like that. Can you see that? And if we're looking at her, here's the top of her ear here. I'm just lightly touching. There's the top of her ear here, so this ear is higher. So, I'm going to get her head up here. There. Okay, so my fingers are about like this. So, the right side is quite a bit more anterior than the left. And we'll see where her frontal bone is. And it's the same thing. Okay, so the frontal bone is forward on the right, and the same with her cheeks. You can really see the difference in it. You see that, Mom? Mm -hmm. Okay, so everything so far is forward on the right, okay? So we'll see where the, the mastoid process is, okay? So, Mom, if you can look at her, she'll look right at you. Okay, that's a problem because the mastoid process is posterior on the right now. So that means that the temporal bone has done this and it's done this. Are you with me? Everybody understand that? So when I put my hands on the on the mastoid process, it was posterior. So far, her frontal bone, her her temporal bone, and we'll see where her jaw is. Okay. And it's very anterior too. It corresponds with where the temporal bone is. Okay. See that? Can you see that? Okay. So everything is forward on the right, um, but the mastoid process is like this. So um, let's, uh, let's get a posturology chart and chart that, okay? And you were just being too good for work. All right, so then I'll, I'm going to palpate where her atlas is. And we, we have to find whether it's going, if it's following the flexion, it'll be going to the right, correct? Right. And if it's following the shear, it will be going to the left, right? Got that? Okay. So, let's see where it is. I'm going to just be comfortable with my touch here. Okay, and it's, it's forward. So the atlas is going the way the shear is going. Okay? And it's uh rotate to left. Anterior right. Yeah, anterior right, yeah. And uh okay. So um and the tissues are firm there. So if I were to go into them, um she would probably <laughs> she would probably yell. So we're gonna uh do the cranium first, um, because she won't that won't bother us. It was a little weird watching him kind of move her little cranium around. Kind of freaked me out a little bit, but I, I know he was doing it to line her back up. So I trust I trust the therapy that he did on it. She's a really good baby, so there was no crying or anything like that. But I could see every now and then she'd kind of stop and, and kind of, you see in her eyes, she was thinking, what's going on here? So we have to see where her about deflection and extension. But you can already see that there's more, the obliquity has already started to change without even trying to change the obliquity. So this is definitely the flatter side, but see it's got an angle to it now already. So just doing that has changed quite a bit the obliquity because this side was very straight. So she's just being a super patient. Once it was pointed out, I could absolutely see it. Um, it was a different level. I, know, I don't know all the proper terms sure, and everything, okay. but different level of her cheeks, where 
lined up right here. Mm -hmm. It was off visibly. That was it. Help it move. Yay. Okay. Ears are good. Okay. All right. So now we want to see if her atlas. Uh, okay. So um, now look at how much of that even made a difference in her obliquity. See how it's getting even now? Mm -hmm. And the straight side is going in. You know, oh. it was just because you can't see visibly with your eye something wrong after an accident or, you know, just in general, doesn't mean there's not other things going on. You could definitely get, get them checked out because I wouldn't have known for years that anything was out of place until, you know, an issue was popped up that was from her growing. That is about as easy and cooperative as you're <laughs> ever going to see. <laughs> I thought she'd be screaming by now, but you didn't do one scream. Oh, right mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. Not too much. Yeah, so now we're going to see where her, uh, where her pelvis is. Okay, you see if it, this influenced the pelvis. Okay. So we want to see. I do not take care. <laughs> it's an explanation of, you know, back here where this was lined around her neck where it was not lined up properly. I know it would have possibly caused some blood flow issues to her brain and that could cause learning disabilities. Yeah. And, you know, she's a very smart girl already. She's only nine months old, but she's very smart, so I think it could have hindered her going into school. Yeah, we did. All right, there's the point and there's the point. Look at that. Look at how much that changed. There's the, there's the tips of the ASIS. And so this was just like this. That was like easy. <laughs> so how easy that was to do. I mean, it was just very little force. You know, she is obviously loved a lot and touched a lot because she was very, very good with being touched, even with a stranger. She seems to like the audience. <laughs> okay. So if we could make her hand, yeah, let's give her a hand. Right, <laughs> Don't hesitate to get them checked out if you think that's what's right for them. Mm -hmm. I just really appreciate you guys checking her out and, you know, getting it done as quickly as it was so that we weren't waiting a long time. Yeah. And Trinity thanks you too. <laughs>